section 1.4 talk about problem solving. Uh, when we get into programming, uh, we have to do a lot of problem solving. We have to try to think through our problems uh, systematically, try to figure out what a good solution is. One of the things you see when you're doing programming is that um, the computer forces you to to follow certain logical steps, and you've got some challenges when trying to solve problems in that you have to be very uh, specific in giving the program instructions and how they work. Um, so just kind of get us prepped for that. We talk a little bit about problem solving and what problem solving are. And let's look at some sample problem solving examples. The first one here is this uh, matching sock problem. So um, this is a uh, talks about a person who doesn't like sorting socks, you know, and matching them up, assuming you have a whole bunch of socks that are different colors or different styles. Uh, when you do the laundry, you have to sort them out and match up, ma put matching socks together so you have pairs. Um, so uh, there's a suggestion here that you just throw all your socks unmatched into a big drawer and every morning you just grab one sock and then you uh, keep reaching until you grab a matching sock and how that works. So there's some questions about that process. Um, so we have three sock types, A, B, and C. Uh, sock type A is pulled first, uh, so you reach in, oh, I'm going to wear a green sock or whatever, sock A. And then um, the next sock you uh, pick is sock B. Oh, now you have another one, maybe it's blue sock. And then uh, you pull another sock, and it's sock 3. Um, so the question is, if uh, you pick out a fourth sock, does it have to be either A, B, or C? Remember, we only have three types of socks. So let's see that. Again, you can go through here, try out the answers. Uh, and work through all of these exercises. So it just kind of works you through some of this logic and problem solving, get some practice going. Uh, it's good to practice these things. The more we practice uh, this type of thinking, the better we'll get at it. So again, here's another example where we have 40 people. This is a, a little more complicated example. I have 40 people and they want to make sure everyone in this group meets everyone else in the group. Uh, is how we do that. So starts off, we say, well, we have a, an inner group of 20 people, an outer group of 20 people, and then they just go in uh, circles. Every um, every 30 seconds, we'll have someone in the outer circle shuffle one position over, and then they'll all shake hands that way. But that doesn't work. So we say, yes, no. Each person would meet the 20 people in the other circle, but there's 19 other people in their own circle they never meet. So this is not going to work. Uh, so then we go through some uh, other ways of setting this up so that everyone meets everyone else in that group. So the last uh, program or problem we have is a sorting problem where we have a thousand name tags and we have to sort them out. Um, and we look at different ways of doing this. Um, so there's different approaches for sor sorting uh, things. Uh, I don't know if you ever sorted things like, for example, every time I give an exam, I have all the exams, I have to sort them by name, by student last names, so I have to do something similar to this. And again, I do this approach where I put them into piles and then sort each piles. So um, here we have a thousand name tags and we first put them into 26 piles. So we put all the A's in one pile, all the B's in another pile, all the C's in another pile. And then we'll go through and sort each of these subsets and then they ask some questions on that. Okay, so go through these, get some practice with some logic and uh, some problem solving to start exercising our mind on that.